Norman here, and uh, today we're doing a little continuation of our golf lifeguard segment uh, that um, Edward was so good at uh, demonstrating the chipping motion last time. We're going to expand on that chipping motion, and something that's, uh, that's really helped a lot of my students is the understanding that the center of the swing, so we talked about with the grass whip, how the center of the swing, if I only had one arm, was my shoulder socket. You notice how everything revolves around that shoulder socket and makes a nice arc. So if I only had a very short movement to make, you'll notice that my arm club unit acts like a pendulum around that shoulder socket back and through. So if we look at what reunites and centers the swing, it's the sternal notch. When I bring both arms together to take my grip, the two shoulder sockets reunite through the sternal notch, and the sternal notch is what represents the center of the swing. So when we play the ball off the back foot so that the hands can hang naturally in front of the ball, because if I play the ball center, I have to force my hands forward, and we all know that the handle is what leads everything in every endeavor apart from a push broom. So in a sword, the handle comes through, in a fishing pole, the handle comes through first. Same thing here in a chip shot. So notice how the ball's off the back foot. The sternal notch is right there in the center of my swing. And I don't want to bring, if I bring the body back, now the sternal notch is back here facing the ball. And I'm going to try, I'm going to hit the ball on the way up again. So we keep the sternal notch in front so that the hands hang under the sternal notch in front. And then from there, you'll notice that everything revolves around that. So on the way back, the arm club unit goes up. See how my right shoulder comes up, then it comes back down, cuts the grass. Then you'll notice how my left shoulder comes back up on the other side, and the right shoulder comes down and through. So the shoulders are basically, the shoulder sockets are basically forced to move around that sternal notch. So it's up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So from the back view, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So now I have a natural arc that's going to form around that sternal notch and I'm allowing my arm club unit to swing smoothly around that. So imagine you had a, you know, uh, one of, with one of my students, Peter, we talked about how we're going to uh, put a choker around the, around the neck and have a golf ball in the middle of the choker settled right in that, in that cavity there called the sternal notch just to put the mind on that. And just like if we putt, you notice when we get to the putting, it's the same thing. So instead of a lowercase y with the ball off the back foot, we have a capital letter Y and everything revolves around that sternal notch. So weight forward, hands forward. As I go back, notice how the left shoulder goes down under the sternal notch. It pushes the arm club unit up. Then it's going to fall down, catch the, the, the dandelion stem first bottom out here and then the right shoulder goes down and under and the left shoulder comes up and around that sternal notch. That way I have a wonderful low point that stays in front of the ball and I'm just allowing the body to move out of the way in both directions. So if I were to do a little perpetual motion, I feel that the sole of the club is cutting the grass in the same spot every time and I could do a little walking at the same time. Okay, so it's the same thing as I'm swinging back and through. I can do my little perpetual motion and allow it to cut through that dandelion stem. So when you're looking down you can't see a golf ball. For those of you who are coming back into the game after a frustrating exit, your brain is used to seeing a golf ball. And when the brain sees a golf ball, it tries to manipulate the club to meet that golf ball. So it's your, your mission now to see your eyes will be on the sole of the club and you're letting the sole of the club cut through that dandelion stem. So my eyes are on the grass between the, 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 the leading edge of the club and the ball. 
I feel the weight of my arm club unit and I'm getting ready to let the weight of that arm club unit revolve around that sternal notch. And there it is. And then you're going to see a wonderful contact with that golf ball. So enjoy that and we'll see you in our next episode. Um, Edward, I think that um, after the chipping motion, what we can do is do an open face chip and show everybody how, how to use the different angles of the blade to cut through that dandelion stem. See you guys later. Mm -hmm.